All right, let's play with one of the grumpiest lizards. Savannah monitors. <laughs> can be so grumpy. Oh, your claws are brutal. Come here. Slow, slow. Yeah, such an athletic animal. Not. It's a lumbering beast. Come here, come here. Slow. There you go. I got to let him figure it all out. What do you think? Oh, your claws. So, here is a very ungrateful female who just does not appreciate any interaction. Let's give you, let's put you up there. How about that? Not very uh, arboreal, but they just seem like they're grumpy and they. <laughs> All right, go, go. But here's some nice savannas. Just basking. Oh, yes. I'm grumpy. So we got a nice hot spot right here. And then when we have sun, which is not today, this thing will really heat up. What do you think? I want to figure things out. This is Samson. Samson is. Hi, buddy. Here's a couple little females over here. Now these, these originated as imports. You know, it was when I got into my project trying to find decent females was something. And uh, so, you know, trying to acclimate wild caught females. Savannas are tricky, I really tell you. It's like, uh, you, you can start with these, these imported animals and I mean, a good, nice, Savannah, when it's when it's good, it's I mean it's a, it's a great eater. It's all these different things, but an imported savanna is nothing like that, and they're also very heavily parasitized. So you got you know you got to be able to sex these guys out, know how to sex them, and then go through a fair bit of time worming them, and then you got to see if you can acclimate them. So wild caught savannas, uh, they you know besides having uh, Ascaris roundworms and you know normal simple parasites that are killed with something like panicure you also need to uh, hit them with a anti protozoa or anti amoeba agent so that would be flagell metronidazole oh yeah you're just ridiculous oh my god you guys are terrible so they really they're not big in <laughs> into the biting they're just uh not big into the thinking definitely a very different animal than a water monitor, uh, but captive raised ones are, are quite nice because they don't go through all this ridiculousness. So this one is just, it doesn't want to think. It's its feeling like it's cornered. So it's, I mean, not really big on the biting, but just really very vulnerable out in the open. He, he's like, what is all the huss, huff and puff going on around it? Come here, woof. So, uh, so you can see this imported animal. You know, it's a little, little thinner. You know, just trying to get a reasonable uh, level of eating on some of these. But you know, we've, we've worn them. So back to uh, metronidazole, flagell, anti-amoeba. It's also a limited bacteria side. Then you want to do some stuff for tapeworms. So something like Dronset, which is basically Prosequantil, because uh, savannas in the wild eat a lot of things like uh, land snails and land snails are a great intermediary stage for uh, cestodes and flukes and all that kind of stuff like that so you may have this animal out of the wild and it's just not doing well and even though your husbandry's right sometimes you can do everything right and the animal just does not acclimate it's not you know it's just not a good captive it really hates captivity everything about it so some of those animals are just inclined never to be you know, your robust animal while other animals are. But sometimes you go through all that and the animal wants to eat, but it's not putting on weight and all that kind of stuff. So when you start having something like that, you might want to consider treating a savanna or a big black throat, a white throat for things like tapeworms and flukes. Now this guy gets it. But of course he's like, 
he's he's totally captive raised. Look at that. I am rather enamored with this big beast. Alright, I guess big dirty Savannah monitor. 